Chris Jackstrong back with another uh, video review and this time we have another Wave 2 Deluxe which is uh, Autobot Drift. I already did uh, a video review on his uh, Wave Mate which was Strafe. You can click on the link right here to watch it but uh, anyways let's take a look at the packaging. Right here it says Transformers Generation Deluxe uh, Class Series um, Movie 4 and then number 6. Like so. Move the camera up so you guys can see. There you go. Then it says Autobot Drift with the Autobot logo right there. And then there's the plain uh, Transformers text and it is see through. So, and there's the side, on the bottom, barcode and a bunch of wiggle crap, and this is authentic, and on the back, shows us two uh, wave mates, uh, Slash and Strafe, and I already did a review for that. There's the Bugatti Veyron mode, there's his robot mode, then here's his bio. focus but there you go and then there's the fronts with uh, the drift artwork and the Transformers logo right there the Age of Extinction logo I mean but anyways let's just get this guy out of the packaging and start the figure review here we have a uh, drift out of the packaging as you can see he looks like a samurai he has this uh, samurai death mask looking helmet on that the samurais would wear to scare their uh, enemies, which is pretty cool. He does have four weapons. He has two katanas and two smaller katanas. I'm not, I'm not sure what they're called, but if somebody knows, uh, maybe you, you guys can let me know. And one thing I really like is uh, the inside of the door here. Looks like uh, the samurai... Uh, armor which is very cool and then same thing on the thighs right here but uh, anyways these can pop off they just peg in the little holes on the underside of his windshield and on top of the roof which is on the back and you can hold them like so you get some pretty cool uh, Dynamic poses out of him. They'll stand up straight. You can get like that kind of pose out of him, which is pretty cool. Come on. I said he's standing. Something pretty cool like that. I'm not going to go spend uh, three or four minutes trying to pose them for you guys, but you guys get the idea. You guys actually probably have this figure, or watching videos to decide if to buy the figure or not. And then the same thing with the little smaller katanas. Let's peg in those hands like so. Which is pretty cool. And these do store in vehicle mode, and I'll get to that in a second. But posability for drift. Let's start with his legs. They can go out on ratchet joint. About that far. You can get it higher. Give him a kick pose, but I'm not sure how well that's gonna get him to like stand on his own, but anyways. You can get him out like that. On a ball joint. It's like a ball joint and ratchet joint combined, it seems. So it's a ball joint here, and then ratchet joint outwards. And then on the knee, you can bend in, bend out. I mean, bend in that far, and then bend out that far, but that's really mainly for transformation. Let's get this back to the way it was. His arm can go in. About that far, then out and up that far. Spin 360 degrees, 
Then at the elbow, there's a small ratchet joint. Can't really bend backwards at all, but you can bend at the elbow about that far in. Then no hand articulation whatsoever. Then this head, the spin, 360 degrees. But, uh, Oh, he has some pretty decent posability. I mean, not as good as uh, past uh, figures, but it's still pretty nice. But, uh, anyways, to transform this guy, what you want to do is come down to his feet and fold them up like so. And then come to the back of his leg and then fold out the panel like so. Do the same thing for the other side fold in his foot and bring up the panel like so and then come to this section it's normally like this where the hood of the car is basically his uh, butt armor or his whatever the hell it's called for his samurai armor but anyways spin it around like so and then collapse this back but you can take his little daggers and on the roof right here, on the inside, you just take the little dagger and pop it right in like that. And same thing for the other one. If I can get my fat fingers in there. Second, guys, I do this. There you go. So now you have both weapons stored in his vehicle mode. And then next, what you want to do is come to the hood here. Let's get this out of the way first. And then there's a little hole cavity right here for his head. So you want to flip his head back. Then bring the hood up, like so, and then put his head in, like that. And then come to his uh, arms and then flip out the doors. Let's get the hand out of the way. Same thing on their side. And then flip this around. And then come to uh, his arms and then collapse them in, like that. Then bring this down. Like that. And then collapse them in. I knew I was missing a step. You probably open up these doors so you can get this lined up. Then come to his back. Combine the sections right here. There's a little uh, hole. Well, I mean, there's three holes. There's one here, one here, one here. And there's three pegs. So make sure you line them up. I'm having a hard time seeing my freaking contacts are drawing me. Or drawing for me. Come on. And then collapse the doors in. There you go. Come on. Gotta get this all lined up right. Make sure that has to stay. There you go. So you have to push this in a little bit more. And they'll all peg in. there we have Autobots drift in his vehicle form and he is a Bugatti Veyron 
uh, Grand Sport Vitesse, which is, I think, one of the fastest production cars that is out there, which is pretty cool. Just gotta make sure these hands are actually up behind the armor right here. That's the, that, that was my problem. I didn't catch it. That's the reason it wasn't folding in. So it's like that. But uh, it does roll really nice. It's pretty cool. Just a quick size comparison for you guys. Here he is next to um, Bumblebee. Well, high octane Bumblebee. Which is the old Camaro. Bumblebee is a little bit longer. Like not even by much. Like a hair's length. But not too bad. He has uh, silver painted headlights. He has silver rims. He has silver painted taillights. And he also has this metallic teal that goes all the way around the bottom of the car. Which is pretty cool. And even though you can't really see that, uh, this is supposed to be the Bugatti logo. Which... I think they can't like put the logo for copyright reasons, even though this is a uh, actual Veyron. Or maybe the detail is too small. They could have added like a little speck of white, because the Bugatti logo is red, and then it has Bugatti in white. But uh, anyways, you can take his katanas and store them underneath the car. There's two little holes right here. One here, and one here, and you take the katana, and you plug them in like that. Which is pretty cool. And it's stored just like that, and he still does roll. Which is pretty cool. But, anyways, thanks for watching my review of Age of Extinction Autobot Drift. And stay tuned for more Age of Extinction uh, figure reviews. Alright guys, thanks for watching, later.